Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. I am always glad when you're here. We're going to start this video off a little bit different. Uh, question I get asked all the time, how do I mix my paints? How do I do this? How do I do that? So I want to do a quick little uh, teaching segment here on paints and different paint consistencies. Now about 15 videos down is a complete tutorial on how I mix my paints, but I just wanted to cover a couple of quick little things here that uh, kind of let the light bulb go off in my head when I was uh, learning uh, this uh, pouring technique. So let's talk about paints. Most of you know that there are different paint densities. Heavy body paints, fluid paints, high flow paints, tube paints. They're all different densities and what's really, really important is that you learn about those densities. How do you learn about the densities? You pay attention. You watch how they pour in the cup. You read the bottle and the description um, on the side of the bottle that tells you about those paints. So we're going to go over two paints today. Um, I'm a real golden uh, paint fan and I love my golden fluids, but you have to learn how to paint with them, especially if you're used to tube paints, which are heavier body paints. This paint right here is golden fluid acrylics and this is the cobalt turquoise right there. Fluid. What does that mean? It's more fluid. We're gonna put just a little bit, and you can always do this little test yourself, although when you pour it out of the container, you can generally tell what is a more fluid paint, what is a heavier body paint. Let's go ahead and put just a little dab of that right in there. I'm also gonna put this in the cup because I'm going to mix it in front of you. This right here is Art Mines Decor, and this is Timeless Steel. Now this is not a heavy body paint, but it's also not a fluid paint like the golden paint. And you can tell as you pour it out, it's a little bit thicker. Is that a word? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some in the cup as well. We've got about a little less than an ounce in there. And what you do is you take this and you tilt it. Now there's a little bit more paint on there than the fluid paint, but the fluid paint is more fluid. You can see it running right there. So what does that tell me? It tells me I have to adjust my pouring medium. Now, I want all my paints to be the same consistency. So what do I start off with? I generally start off with the heaviest body paint and I add my pouring medium to it. Now my pouring medium is in this cup. It's 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. I mix it up real good. Let's add our pouring medium to that right there. And then let's go ahead and add the same amount of pouring medium to that guy. We'll just use it up. And I start with my most fluid paint and I stir it and I mix it and I pay attention to the way it feels. You can get to a point where you can almost mix your paints blindfolded or with your eyes closed because you can tell by the way it feels. I'm very particular about my cups. I use the same cups because I know how they feel. I use the same size stirring sticks because I know how they feel in my cup and we stir this baby up. Now we're doing a ring pour today, so I need my paints a little thicker than how I like them for my swipes. So let's just take a look at that. It leaves a mound on a mound on a mound. Now I'm doing a ring pour. I like them a little thicker. So what do I use? I use my mix pour. I keep it in a little container right here next to me, mix. And I add just a squeeze at a time into that paint that I want a little thicker. Cause mix is thicker than my pouring medium, which has GAC 800 in it. All right, 
So there we go. Now we have a little bit more of a defined mound on a mound on a mound, as Sweet Mina says. So this paint is good for me. Now, this paint was a heavier body paint than the fluid paint. Let's stir that up. Stir and stir and stir. I stir right, I stir left, I stir back, I stir forward. Now let's take a look at it. It's leaving a little bit of a trace. Now I should have used a tube paint to show you a much heavier body paint because at that point what I would add to it is not more mix. I would add a little bit of a water. And I keep my water in this little uh, messed up squeeze bottle and I add a drizzle at a time because I want this paint to be the same consistency of this paint. And if it was a heavier body paint, I would need to add some water to get it down to the consistency of this paint. Let's take a look at it. Now let's look at them side by side. They are both leaving a little bit of a trace, which is absolutely perfect for the ring pour that I want to do. So, little quick uh, ditty about how I mix my paints. I use the mix pour to thicken up my paints. I use a little bit of water to thin down my paints, but I rarely need water because most of my paints are fluid and they're already more fluid or the correct fluidness <laughs> for my paints. I hope that all makes sense. I hope it doesn't make your head spin, guys. It certainly made my head spin when I was getting started on this. I'm gonna go mix some paints and we're gonna do a painting. Glad you're here, guys. Let's go to work, cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself, cause I'm falling apart. Please wake me up. But they don't need all my challenges to search for my strength. I defeat them all. I'm never ever gonna hide no more. I come to love myself again. Yeah. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go.
Let it go. 